Factorio short. Let's jump into it. If you have your burning main drills, you can just put them into a little circle like this. Then you just need one little fool or code <clears throat> for getting all that up and running and you just can pass by and grab all the coal. So it's pretty easy for getting the coal production up and running. And you already got seven coal, oh my god, and you can get your factory up and running. Tip number two is building. It's easily for building lines if you just hold the left mouse click. So with that you can just build everything in the maximum range what it's available. So you just have to click and you run. This is going with a lot of stuff. This is also working with underground belts. Da -da 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 -da. And all the other things you can build and what are somehow connected. Beside the RoboPort. I hoped as well that it will build somehow connected with that. But actually if you build it, it's just bam bam bam. So this is unfortunately not working. Uh, maybe they're gonna fix it in the next version. I hope so. Tip number three is copy and paste uh, receipts or actually copy and paste everything what you can use. Let's start at the filters, filter inserter. If you hold the shift key and right click on it, then it's copied and with left click you insert it. So shift right coping shift left inserting this is working here with filter inserter if you have here iron chests with limited shift right and left click for inserting and voila suddenly all are here also with receipts in the assembling machines uh, shift right and left and it's here and the coolest part as well is I Let's remove it here. Um, you are requesting that resources. You're just clicking uh, shift right and shift left on the requested chest, and you have the needed resources here. What that assembling machine needs. So this is pretty nice. And let's stay here just for the next uh, tip. In the beginning of the game, normally it's deactivated that you don't see what that factor is producing or what's going on. That happens with the Alt key. Mainly it's uh, um, appearing or that they are suddenly gone uh, if you're changing the window like whoop, whoop, and suddenly, I it's gone. Oh no, what have I done? I don't see anything. So press the Alt key, then you have all the information you need. Tip number five. With underground belts, you can filter one side of a running belt. For example, like this. You just get here out the, the left side. Tip and trick number six is the magic uh, middle click. Uh, on the mouse, on the scroll wheel, uh, that click. Um, with that you can easily uh, set a specific item what you want. For example, you have here your toolbar and you can set what's going there. For example, I put here now all my belts and stuff like this, what I use often on the left side. and. If you click, you can choose what you want to put there. For example, rocket fuel. And you cannot put something else now there. So it will be always at this position. The same you can do uh, in a trunk. And again, with the copy paste, shift right click. And with left click, you can fill it up. This is going with the car trunk, with the tank tank. 
or with the cargo wagons like here with the mouse middle click you can set it or let's go with that so and here we're gonna set in the empty barrels and everything is going on its place so here are the, f the, the full barrels and the empty barrels so you don't get in conflict with inserting or filtering tip number seven our blueprints I hope you already know what it is if not then let's make a stupid little example we're gonna make an L here and we're gonna copy that here is that little blueprint library and there you can create a new blueprint book just a normal blueprint where you save then uh, the actual design or the district planner where you just remove all that stuff so let's create here a new blueprint and let's make you some space and put it here and now you can create click again on that blueprint on that empty blue thing and you can save that here is then what it will be built and here you can with right click and left click toggle what will be built and what not and then you can put them and if you have robots it's nice because they are building just everything for you and now all my big robots are coming with the single blueprints you get a little bit messy after a while if you're using a lot and you can use just a new blueprint book and you can place it here and with a right click on the blueprint book it's opening here you can rename it as well and click on your created blueprint and you just put it in and you just are using one space of your virtual bar the next little tip is ghosting if you already have robots then ghosting is pretty nice and you don't have to be everywhere for building some stuff for example let's make here laser turret hold the shift key and place it so back there uh, then the other robots are coming so you just uh, place a ghost and the robots will build it the cool part is if you're going to the map um, you can go almost everywhere and where it's green you can put that I could easily like change here a little bit like making it like these and robots will come and make that for me and I'm gonna remove that here I don't have to do everything the robots can work for me and as I said before I need more robots this is going so slow easy like this and easily like this you just expanded a little bit of your area that's ghosting and the idea of ghosting my next little trick or more a pattern are my electronic circuits in my opinion the quickest is like just making two uh, assembling machines with the with the copper cables putting them directly into the uh, electronic circuit assembling machine and with the iron it's always easy like going under it or from the other side however and you're gonna produce a lot of secrets just with a little setup like this and i make my all my solar systems here and laser turrets the drills everything here just with that little setup and Everywhere where you need an electronic secrets, you can uh, use that little pedal for providing your factory with 
the little green secrets which are used quite a lot and often. The next little trick is modules and labs. Because normally the, all the modules are just used in the assembling machines or at the drills and stuff like this. But actually at them you also can make them. I think the best combination is a speed module if you put to the speed the productivity. So you just get some stuff for free and if you have a lot to do then something for free is is kind of nice and i mean it's fucking expensive what you're doing here so i think that's pretty nice for for labs because they are really expensive so productivity here is i guess pretty good <laughs> 